Hi, I'm Clark, uh, VP of Flight Operations, and I wanted to talk with you just a second about our training platforms available in the uh, APS programs. Uh, behind me is the Marchetti S211, a great jet uh, trans transfer of skill platform. You can hear about it in another video, but I'd like to focus uh, now on our workhorse training platform, the Extra 300 which is here. It is an outstanding platform to being able to, to develop the core, what we call the core skill sets needed for upset prevention and recovery. Uh, the industry has recognized that an uh, a piston aerobatic airplane is the best platform to allow pilots from a wide range of demographics, whether you are just learning to fly all the way to professional pilots to pilots flying at the legacy carriers uh, from military pilots and corporate uh, government and civilian pilots uh, can all benefit from a training platform like this high performance aerobatic airplane. We use the extra 300 here in uh, two of our uh, uh, locations at APS, uh, Phoenix and uh, Dallas. Uh, it is a plus or minus 10G airplane. Now that is certainly way more safety than we actually need to be able to do the training. It is not our goal in any upset training program to teach you how to pull those Gs. We're trying to teach pilots to how to survive in the design limitations of your platform that you're flying, whether it's transport category airplane like two and a half G uh, airplane. So, but we do need to be able to get in an airplane that allows us to make mistakes. Uh, again, the industry's recognized that in this skill development, pilots will make mistakes while they're airborne, and we need a safe platform uh, to do that, and this allows us uh, to be able to do that. 300 horses from a Lycoming allows us to climb up to altitude uh, quickly in order to uh, get to the training uh, right off. Uh, 220 knots uh, V&E. You can see bubble canopy. Now one reason why we believe the bubble canopy is important is because as you're going through the training, you need to be able to look out. You need to be able to see the airplane in relationship to Mother Earth, shall we say. And that helps develop mental modeling in all latitudes, which allows you to transfer those skills to the instruments more easily and readily. Uh, so you're able to do that. In fact, the pilot in training will sit in the front cockpit uh, in this airplane, uh, again, for great visibility. Uh, it allows, uh, it also allows for uh, a little more, a little more stress as well because you're kind of up there feeling alone and unafraid, uh, shall we say, and it puts a little more pressure on you to perform, which is very beneficial and again in the building block approach uh, for the skill sets. You can see it's a mono wing. Uh, here it's a fixed gear. Uh, fixed gear, and uh, I'm going to uh, show you the front cockpit here in just a minute. Keep in mind that the Extra 300 is a stepping stone approach uh, to our other training platforms like the Jet or the Simulator. One of the core fundamentals that we need to start off with pilots in training is that VFR environment. Uh, you need to be able to fundamentally learn how to prevent or recover the airplane in a VMC type condition. And then again, this is fundamental for transfer of skill to the instruments that we do later in the program. So again, very much a VFR cockpit uh, up here, but it does have a, a mid-continent glass cockpit with some EFIS presentation, airspeed uh, tape, uh, altitude tape, uh, vertical speed trend, uh, and attitude awareness uh, as, as well. Uh, the other thing it's got is a video camera. As we do in all of our flights, we're able to record uh, the flight in uh, audio and video, and it's over, over your right shoulder. So that's just a quick overview of the Extra 300. We look forward to having you out here. Feel free to reach out to us anytime. Yeah.